was let me Hi. my another earphone. Hi, Morris. Um, nice to get you on the stage. So I would introduce you for now and then pass the floor to you. So everyone now presenting, we have Wallace Chow, the Fraud and Compliance Director at Rectex, and his topic will be enabling AML services through API to gain efficiency for account opening by centralizing the KP KYC process. So I will pass the floor to you, Wallace. I can see okay. your screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm Wallace Trout from Rectex. And um, today I, I, I want to share with you uh, about the API um, uh, technology, how it can apply on the AML services specific for the KYC process. So first of all, I would like to introduce ourselves. Um, who are we? So we are a, a startup company um, focused on uh, red tech technology, um, a, a startup uh, using big data analytics, AI, uh, machine learning stuff for the uh, compliance solutions. We are very focused on the compliance area and um, uh, using technology, helping them to uh, gain the efficiency and effectiveness and using the technology helping them to like um, uh, uh, streamline their process and we are one of the um, NQPE uh, in uh, Hong Kong Science Park and better by uh, different kind of uh, organization in Hong Kong. So today I am very happy to share with you on the API stuff and uh, first of all um, let's have a look on the um, a compass journey before that we can uh, focus on the um, uh, 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 API. So here is a very uh, uh, standard like compass journey, including uh, from end to end uh, for the customer onboarding that we um, the the, the uh, organization need to uh, get the um, customer application form and then uh, analyze the data that it input and then do some checking, including the um, docu document uh, uh, verifications, uh, name screening, uh, risk assessment, and then pull out all this information and uh, uh, pack it in, in a case for a uh, internal approval so that it's able to um, uh, pass the account opening policy and, and open the account for the customer. So once that account is opened, so all the transactions, or for for example in banks, so all the transactions has to be monitored. So there will be a transaction monitoring um, area or solutions that in place uh, to fulfill the regulatory requirement. But another uh, thing that need to um, uh, classify as a part of the the um, uh, KYC um, operations is the. Uh, periodic review or the regular review for uh, the, the, the customer in, in the organizations or uh, during the, the enhanced due diligence in um, a trickle event or uh, in a regular basis. So these are a, uh, a compliance journey that you, you will find that uh, uh, happened in um, um, uh, some of the financial institutions like banks, securities firms, uh, even insurance and all other uh, 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 a big corporate uh, will, will, will need to fulfill this uh, requirement. But there are a lot of pain points and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, ineffective uh, um, operations. So how it works is like uh, today we focus on the customer onboarding and the uh, KYC area. So in terms of the, the technical side or the operations, it actually um, will uh, 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 meet a different kind of uh, uh, challenge in terms of um, the data side of issue, the application side of issues. Uh, for example, for the uh, customer onboarding, it will require um, a different kind of data collections and to uh, gather all information and then uh, pass in one single case uh, for internal approval uh, just described um, before. And uh, for the uh, customer periodic review and also the enhanced due diligence, which in, 
and uh, uh, need to consolidate a lot of different data from their the day to day uh, transactions, their their profile or what they have uh, performed uh, within uh, with, with the, the the organizations or, or what kind of business that uh, they have dealt with or any relationship with the the third party or external party uh, uh, that may uh, harm or or, or or impact the the organizations. Uh, on the compliance uh, perspective, so these are the uh, uh, area that or the challenge that they faced by um, very uh, um, uh, typical uh, um, uh, compliance professionals. So, how we are going to uh, leverage the, the API technology, uh, helping to streamline the process or or, or make it uh, more easier uh, for day to day operations or this to uh, for improvement is that okay so there are a uh, uh, different kind of um, uh, area that can apply the api so here is some of the example that i want to share with you today um, start with the first one is the customer scoring so talking about um, when uh, we do a uh, customer boarding that we usually will according to the customer profile to calculate the um, customer risk scoring um, according to their profile uh, including uh, the the name the age uh, the address the occupations the um, source of fund the expected like transaction amount or transaction frequency things like this Okay, so then then um, uh, depends on different kind of a uh, setting or configuration of the uh, uh, organizations that will come up a uh, customer risk scoring. So because like um, different customer type or like for example uh, individual customer or corporate customer, they will have different kind of um, uh, 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 calculation or or or, or a, a valuation scheme. So that will um, uh, uh, comes up different kind of uh, uh, requirement or data uh, to get this very similar uh, result. So in this kind of uh, situation that we can actually um, uh, create or develop a um, API that will take care of the uh, customer risk scoring. So meaning that like um, a very typical uh, uh, example is that we, we gather all those information I just mentioned it from the customer profile or from the customer application form that we can directly fit into a API and expect that result will be a um, customer uh, risk scoring is actually a score or a, a grading or some recommendations that is predefined in the API itself. So you can see that like um, the API is very easy to, to operate. It's like you give a bunch of input data and it according to the API uh, 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 engine calculations, rules, whatever inside, uh, it will give you an output. So each of the API is work very similar like this. Like this. Then you will get a very uh, standard or very consistent uh, output uh, throughout the, the organization if um, these API can share um, among the uh, organizations uh, 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 and use it in a, a very uh, uh, standard uh, approach in, in the, for their day-to-day -day operations. So the other two will be some of the, the um, uh, biometric um, uh, technology, meaning that like um, when um, you use a mobile phone or mobile app that you can use the biometric uh, technology such as the voice recognition the facial recognitions to verify um, the the customer uh, for for kind of boarding or for the um, uh, authentications things like this and also the document verifications can uh, help to verify whether that um, document is a, a, a true copy or a fake one by taking um, uh, 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 a bunch of uh, um, uh, image of a uh, Hong Kong ID or a passport so that it will able to uh, capture those um, uh, uh, security features from the document to so that it can calculate whether that is a, 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 
a true copy or uh, a better copy or, or a fake one or just a print out. Things like this is very useful for um, the kind of onboarding. And the last one will be um, the, the name screening. Okay, the name screening is uh, it actually very easy to understand. It's like you, you, you input a name and then it will tell you whether that is a, a sanctioned a name or, or, or a PEP um, uh, uh, in, in, in the data feed or in, in the watch list. So these APIs actually helping um, uh, a lot of organizations like the virtual bank for account opening or for the remote uh, account opening. So they can use different kind of uh, this API in the um, uh, 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 remote kind of onboarding to um, taking care uh, the the um, operations um, integrated in one single process uh, or the the the, the um, uh, mobile app in uh, uh, for example. So, but. Um, and that worked pretty, 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 pretty smooth and, and, and su successful uh, uh, during the days that, uh, for example, we also have um, different uh, virtual bank in Hong Kong. They are using very similar technology throughout their, their account opening process. But not just that, uh, during the KYC process, we also have some sort of like anti resolutions, for example, very focused on the um, corporate um, onboarding that when you input a um, uh, corporate name, it can easy to find out the the mother company or whether there is any subsidiary company, and also take out the uh, the director shareholder information in one single API. So that is very powerful and useful for them to analysis the 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 um, uh, the background chat of a um, uh, a corporate. And also, um, we also just mentioned about the the um, periodic review, right? So actually, there there we, we can create a API call uh, so that um, to grab the um, customer uh, uh, informations um, in a in a in a in a real time basis, including uh, their pattern, their behavior, or their 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 background. Uh, by one single API share uh, through the organizations um, very effectively. And also there are also something like called the negative news, meaning that um, if you have a negative news database, then you can share the, 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 the information um, uh, by like the entity name uh, or the event or the, the, the uh, the, the category of the, the news so that it can easily share uh, throughout the organizations for uh, like the, the um, periodic review or any other activity as well. And also there are something new called network and analytics is like uh, to take out the uh, uh, network or the relationship for a particular uh, entity or, or customer. In, in the organizations so that uh, it can uh, easily to analyze uh, their, their behavior, their, 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 uh, their, their business or in, in the organizations in a more like, visualized uh, approach. So um, how it works is something like this is um, I just take out like uh, I'll show a few case to you how it, um, the API work uh, at the back. So for example, uh, we are talking about the uh, customer onboarding. So when a customer uh, uh, fill in the application form or fill in the, the um, uh, 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 um, onboarding form, it can actually grab uh, different kind of uh, information, the, the customer profile, and then it will fit it in to the, the API engine. So you will think about like uh, for an individual or a corporate that actually have different kind of information from the uh, um, uh, uh, from the form, um, so that like uh, we can configure the, the API backend uh, to accept different kind of um, form for individual or corporate or uh, different kind of department will have different kind of um, application form to call a different kind of. Uh, 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 information for ver verification or, 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 or detections. And also the, 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 the API can contain different kind of rule for specific uh, forms so that it can have a better 
scoring mechanism. And more important is that the API can go to grab the data um, uh, without a uh, 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 a very heavy uh, uh, system integration, be, uh, system integration between the, the the database, so that it will collect data and use it for verification and validations in one go. Meaning that, like any department to use this API, will grab the will, will use this API to um, get the um, uh, same kind of data source, which um, uh, can. Uh, 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 avoid the data inconsistency uh, um, issues uh, throughout the uh, onboarding process. So this is one of the uh, 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 use case or example that you can think about, like uh, how it um, the API can help you to streamline the um, verifications or calculating the, the customer scoring. But also it can be able to help you to grab the uh, latest or historical data from the database as well, but in, in one single call. And the most imp important is like, um, once you build a API call, then it will able to uh, standardize um, the validation, the, the uh, data output or the data input um, uh, throughout the organization to uh, reduce the inconsistency um, um, uh, uh, situations. Also, here is a name screening. It's uh, very easy to understand. It's like uh, different department will have um, uh, uh, need to check the name uh, for different purpose. For for example, in bank, uh, they will um, use for account opening or uh, for remittance purpose, for loan purpose, for mortgage purpose. All these purposes, is, is, it, 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 the, the, the request is the same. It's used to check whether that uh, customer is in the, the, the watch list or not. So, and also important is like different department can contribute uh, their own uh, blacklist uh, to store in the um, uh, watch we call it watch list database uh, and then share to the whole organizations. So that is the beauty of like um, uh, centralized the um, uh, uh, data in one single API. And also it can able to like uh, uh, centralize uh, or, or, or standard the screening mechanisms and also uh, the record keeping as well. So this is one uh, one of the example. Um, uh, actually, uh, many many banks uh, is doing the, the very similar approach uh, right now. Another one will be the um, network analytic that we just mentioned uh, uh, before is about um, when they are doing the periodic review or they want to know about what the, the, the customer relationship or activity happened for a particular customer, then it can call this API. And the API itself is able to like capture uh, different kind of data from like for for example from the core system, from the data fit, from the alerting system, uh, for um, from the social media information, the news, or the transaction it itself uh, 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 performed in a more uh, 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 visualized approach, meaning that like um, we can. Um, uh, uh, create a node uh, which is represent a person. A another node represent a um, uh, account or address. Things like that to link it up, so that you will able to see. Like for example, um, it can be used for um, uh, fault detections where they share the same address, same um, uh, uh, network uh, uh, device. Things like this. Uh, but also in KYC perspective, it can able to allow the, the end user to understand whether what kind of um, uh, a linkage or customer that is really related to uh, the, 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 the target target the customer. So this is able to help the, the, the customer uh, to understand better uh, what the, the, uh, uh, the end customer is doing. So to summarize, you will see um, there are different kind of uh, benefit to apply the API. Um, for example, um, uh, the integration is easier 
um, actually the, the, the API can trigger it by a different kind of applications uh, using this, the, the very uh, the same standard and uh, the integration will be easier and it's much more control on the usage and the, the, the release of data and also the, the um, um, uh, 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 data consistency. And also it's easy to governance, uh, whether who has the access or who got the control on using the data, on using the functions, things like this, it's all um, easy to uh, monitor or, or, or in a more uh, uh, way that uh, in uh, all the purpose as well. So um, for, for those cases, you, you will easily to find that that is very efficiency, that is effective uh, to, to use for apply on the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, operations. And more easily is that like, for example, that we talk about like the customer risk scoring, right? So actually it can able to call another API, for example, when we got a um, um, application form containing the, the customer profile and the name, then we can fire two uh, requests to two different API and then collect the information in one single uh, uh, area so that we can have the uh, customer uh, risk scoring. At the same time, we can have the uh, screening result as well. So easy to automate all, all those because that once we put the, the, the API uh, standardized and then put it in, in the back end, the, the application is easy to uh, integrate and uh, easy to automate the operations and streamline the, the uh, workflow. So you will see that like the, these uh, uh, benefit is act, actually is coming uh, uh, provide a very good uh, um, ROI for the organizations to apply the API. So um, that is for my sharing today and um, see uh, if you have any, any questions um, I can um, uh, uh, answer. Hi, Wallace. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, Connie. Hi. Thanks for your presentation. It's really great. So um, um, I think uh, we have maybe one minute to wrap up this section. Um, so do you think, uh, I, I think you are an expert in uh, the rec tech area and compliance area. I think for the one minute, maybe work for the audience on the floor to know a bit more of uh, your uh, background. Would you mind to um, share your experience uh, and, and, and yeah, your expertise in the area? And maybe uh, I also need to ask you to stop sharing the screen as well so we can see your face. Okay. Is it better now? Yes, I can see your face. Okay. Okay, so so here is like um uh, actually we um uh, we are very focused on the compliance solutions. So the KYC is one of our solutions and uh, we are uh, focused on the, to provide the, the uh, whole uh, compliance platform including the um, uh, KYC process, uh, also the name screening. Uh, but we also very focus on the uh, transaction monitoring uh, area as well. But um, um, even though that, that is not uh, today's topic, but I can share a little bit about like um, we apply a lot of AI technology um, or machine learning technology on these um, uh, module, including the, the name screening. We have the fuzzy matching and the AI uh, similarity matching to reduce the, the false positive so that it can help the organizations to reduce the res resources and reduce the risk as well. For the transaction monitoring is actually helping them, uh, helping the, the bank to reduce the uh, uh, false uh, alert uh, or so that um, uh, the, the, the bank's resources can better allocate to other uh, uh, important area. So we actually uh, uh, provide a, a POC with a retail bank um, to, uh, to experience how red tech or the AI can actually apply it on the uh, transaction monitoring area and get a very good uh, result on that, um, helping them to um, reduce the, the false positive, but not uh, keep uh, still able to keep the quality of the uh, 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 investigations uh, uh, um, operations. So that is um, uh, a very good thing that like um, 
technology or the regulation technology is actually get, uh, able to help the the uh, op, uh, compliance uh, uh, department uh, on a different perspective. Okay, yes, uh, very exciting to hear you talk about um, the AI driven uh, POC opportunity and I hope that will become a larger uh, project uh, when you are progressing along. So I think today uh, we thank you Wallace so much. Uh, so audience on the stage, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to reach out to Wallace Chow directly and then uh, we should uh, completing this uh, section for now and then uh, wait for another section to begin with. So we will have a break from now on. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you, Candy. Thank you.